And so in this final video, we're going to take a look at just getting all of these textures out of Substance Designer so that we could start using them in our render engine or game engine, whatever we want, and actually start putting our material to good use here. So there's a couple ways that we can go about doing this. And the first way is just by coming over to all of our outputs here. And just by double clicking on this guy, you can see that we're going to uh, view this texture in our 2D view here. And you can see in our 2D editor here, if we come up to the top left, we have the ability to uh, save the current image as a bitmap. So if I click on that there, our file browser is going to pop up here. And we have the ability to save this as uh, really a whole wide array of different um, file formats. I'm just going to cancel that. And again, you can come into each one of these, right? Hit save, hit save, hit save, and all of that. But that's going to take a little bit too uh, long to do, right? I don't want to go ahead and just have to save them all manually. So what we can do is come up to our graph over here, right? Our megaphone graph where we're currently in right now. And I can right click on that. And I can go to export outputs as bitmaps here. So this will bring up our uh, export window here, and you can see that we're going to have our destination. Uh, we can change the format of these, right? A whole different array of file formats there. We can also change the, uh, the pattern for basically exporting these, right? So right now we're going to go megaphone and then the base color, normal, uh, roughness, metallic, ambient occlusion, and a miss. And we can also select, uh, you know, which ones we want to have on or off. So if you want to only export a few of these, you don't have to export them uh, all every time. We can also come down to this little checkbox here that says automatic export when outputs change. So what that will do is if we update uh, any one of these outputs, it will automatically export whatever we have selected here and just pretty much update and overwrite that save file to the most up-to-date and current version of that output texture, which is pretty handy. So if you're only really working on, say, your roughness here, you can just have this guy selected, go into our graph and start working on our roughness, and whenever it changes, it will just automatically export so that we don't have to come back in and uh, manually save that guy again. So I'm just going to hit All, and I'm going to use our uh, Gumroad folder here, and I'm just going to select that guy. And I'm going to export all of our outputs, and it's going to take a second here. And now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my uh, folder. And so now that I'm in my folder here, you can see that if we just click on icons, we're going to be able to view all of these guys in our viewer here. And we've successfully exported all of our uh, maps here. So there's one more way that we can go about exporting these textures and we can export them in a little bit of a different file format because we're kind of packaging them together rather than exporting them individually. And the way that we could do that is by publishing a substance archive file or a .sbsar file. So if I come up to my package here, you can see that when I select that guy, we get the option to uh, publish our selected element here. And so what publishing is going to do is it's going to package all of the graphs in this package here and allow us to essentially use our uh, graphs that we've created, right? All of these different graphs in a later package that allows the .sbsar file format to be utilized, such as Unity and Unreal and a whole uh, other 3D uh, applications that Substance has built plugins for. And so the problem right now with this is that if I publish this package, you can see that uh, we're going to publish all of these different graphs. And um, I don't know if that's exactly what I want to do. I just want to publish our one megaphone here. So what I'm going to do is come down. Uh, actually, I'm going to close this guy here. And I'm just going to create a new package. And I'm going to just copy this guy and I'm going to paste it in this package here. So now if I go ahead and save this guy, I can just call this 
megaphone output, something like that. And save that there. And so now if I go ahead and publish this element, I'm going to have our megaphone output and it's going to be a .sbsar, right? A substance archive file. And I can go ahead and save that there. And I'm going to leave all of the, uh, the base parameters open there. So now, if I just come over to Substance Player here, and I go ahead and try and open this file, right, our output here, you can see that we're going to essentially output our material graph here. And it's going to just compress all of the textures into one substance package here for us. And so now we're going to be able to use this Substance Archive file in other applications and so we can just drag and drop this one file instead of having to plug in a whole bunch of different uh, individual texture maps. So that was just a quick little video on showing how we can finally get all of our hard work out of Substance Designer to be used in further applications to display our awesome looking asset here. So I just want to say thanks again for deciding to take this course. I hope it was relatively useful for you. You learned a few tips and tricks along the way. And if there's any questions that you've had along this series, please feel free to ask me below in the comments. And I'd love to help out in any way that I can. Thanks again, guys, and take it easy.